Hello, beautiful people. It is Ashley here at Fire Intuition. Welcome back to my channel. I am here to do a video for those of you who are in third party relationships. This will be from today, May the 16th to the 23rd. Do keep in mind that this is a general reading. It is for all signs. Do only take the message if it resonates with you. Spirit of the Universe, can I please get some messages for those who are in third party relationships? May 16th through the 23rd. Spirit of the Universe. Messages for those of you who are in third party relationships. All right, so let's see what we got. We have the Page of Wands. We have the Five of Wands. The Will of Fortune. We have the Three of Pentacles. So there's going to be communication that comes in to you guys about ending a third party. Are there this is going to be major changes with the Five of Wands? With the Five of Wands, this is someone compromising finally compromising the third party or resolving the conflict within a third party situation. We have the will of fortune. I feel like you've been stuck in this cycle waiting for this third party relationship to end. We have the three of pinnacles. So there has been a lot of petty arguments, a lot of spats. You guys can't seem to move forward or progress the relationship because you guys have been arguing with the five of wands due to the fact that there was a third party within the relationship. And with the page of wands, this is you guys opening up communication back and forth about this third party situation clarify the will of fortune yeah so with the will of fortune for a lot of you guys you guys could have been married to this person if not you guys live with this person this was a long-term relationship they stepped out had a third party for some of you guys you didn't know about it you were blind and that's what caused the conflict and tension with the five of wands so it's like once you found out you were very upset with the three of pinnacles there was definitely a commitment so Someone was in a commitment. There was a lot of arguments, a lot of fights. They weren't getting along. Someone stepped out, had a third party, didn't let go of the third party, was in a third party relationship with you and the other person. For some of you guys, this person didn't want to let go of the third party person. And then for some of you guys, the third party person didn't even know that they were in a third party. We have the eight of pinnacles. We have the five of cups. We have the four of pinnacles. We have the queen of pinnacles. So again... Like I said, you guys work things out. This is under the five of wands. You guys work things out in the relationship. This is you guys coming out of separation with the eight of pentacles. So reconciling, coming out of separation. You guys talk things through. They didn't let go of the third party with the, with the four of pentacles. They held on to the third party relationship. For some of you guys, you had kids with this person or they had kids with that person. Or that person got pregnant. It was a secret. And they didn't want you to know. Clarify the queen of pentacles. Yeah, for some of you guys, it was a secret. You didn't know. And they were scared to tell you because with the Eight of Swords, they felt like if they told you that the relationship, you know, wouldn't make progress, that you would, you know, walk away with the Eight of Swords. And with the Five of Swords, you know, you would just take the loss in the relationship. You would have just felt defeated and took the loss for some of you guys because with the Queen of Pentacles, you could be a Taurus Virgo Capricorn. Someone, there was a third party situation. And someone wasn't honest and lied about it. Definitely if you were a Taurus, because we have the higher fan, we have the Queen of Pentacles. So you could be a Taurus that was in a third party relationship where they had someone else, got someone else pregnant, or was in a relationship where they had kids with someone else, or kids with someone, you were the third party. And you were blinded to that. And they held on to that with the Four of Pentacles. Clarify the Four of Pentacles. Yeah, they held on to that, okay? This is you being blindfolded, blocked, not knowing what's going on in the relationship. With the Ten of Pentacles, they already had a foundation, okay? They already had a family or they were building a family. They had a kid on the way, something that had to do with family, all right? How they feel about you? We have the Four of Swords. We have the Nine of Pentacles. We have the Nine of Wands. We have the Knight of Swords. So for some of you guys, you guys fought with this person a lot with the Knight of Swords. With the Nine of Wands, this is you guys going back and forth, tit for tat, arguing. Both of you guys being on guard, very defensive. With the Four of Swords, things is repeating. And this is a relationship where you guys are together, single, together, single. And I feel like they stepped out, 
had a third party situation, got that person pregnant, or you could have been the person that they had a family with. You guys argued a lot. They stepped out, got someone pregnant. They kept it a secret. They didn't say nothing. They held on tight to it with the four of pentacles. And I feel like with the knight of swords, you found out, you communicated that to them. Yeah, you communicated that to them. You found out this significant information. You got upset. There were major arguments. I feel like this person tried to come back and offer you something even after you found out. But there were, again, still major arguments. So for a lot of you guys, this commitment, this offer has been put to the side. Like you look at it as a lost opportunity or you're like, you know what? I'm not going back to this person. You lied about everything. How do they feel about the third party person? We have the magician. We have the king of swords. We have the three of wands. We have the king of pentacles. So when it comes to the third party person, you know, this is them definitely living two lives. Lying to the third party, lying to you with the three of wands. For some of you guys, they met this person online. They met this person at a gathering. They could have met this person when they were hanging out with their friends. We have the king of swords. This is them being manipulative, being cold, not expressing or showing you the emotions or not showing or expressing emotions to that other person. But that other person, you know, having a lot of feelings and emotions for them because of the magician, somebody wanted the relationship to grow. This is them also meeting someone new. So this is them meeting someone new, having hidden motives, hidden agendas behind everything. You not knowing about it. Both of you guys were blind in the situation. So you guys were in a third party situation where neither one of you guys knew that you were in a third party. Because as a, as a king of pinnacles, if you guys were dealing with a king of pinnacles, you know, he had it to where he can take care of you and that other person. Okay? And you guys both just being blind in the situation. Clarify the king of pinnacles. Yeah, exactly. You guys were blind. And with the devil card, you know, he was just getting his way, taking advantage of the situation. And with the temperance card, you know, this is him hanging on to you, not letting you go, not moving on. It's still holding on to that third party, not letting that third party person go, holding on. Okay, just holding on. And with the devil card, you guys could have been dealing with a Capricorn. We have the king of pentacles as well. So it's like they were holding on to you, holding on to that other person because you have the two of wands, not making a choice and decision in a relationship with both of you guys, you know, getting their way with you, you know, as the devil. This is them again, like I said, also taking advantage of the situation, you and that person. For a lot of you guys, it was just about sex. So if it wasn't just sex with you, it was sex with the third party person. And for some of you guys, whoever got pregnant, it will go to the court because they question the paternity. They question if the baby is theirs or that's what they're going to tell you. Clarify the king of swords. Yeah. See, they're going to take it to the court with justice. They're going to take it to court because with the queen of swords, this is you cutting them out. You're like, I don't want to be with you anymore. You're like, if that baby is yours, it's over. It's a wrap. I don't want to deal with you anymore. So they've been in their head about it. They've been questioning it. For some of them, they're like, oh my God, is this really my baby? You know, did I make a mistake? Like, not that they did make a mistake even being in a third party, but with this baby situation, they're like, wow. Like, you know, it's like they're looking at things differently now because they're like, okay, I had a third party. I messed around, and now this person might be pregnant. You know, they're in their head about it. They're confused. They're frustrated. They don't know what to do. They don't even know what to say to you. They don't know what to say to the other person. And with the justice card, of course, it's definitely going to go to court. Clarify the justice card. Yeah, and someone's going to be heartbroken in a decision, okay, with the three of swords. Someone's going to be heartbroken because for some of you guys, this is going to be the child's father or mother. Or take it out, it resonates. It, yeah, it is their child. With the eight of cups, someone's just going to walk away. Someone's going to walk away. Once it goes to court, someone's going to walk away. They're going to be heartbroken, okay, when they find out the results to the situation, all right? It was definitely a third-party situation, okay? So, let's clarify the justice card one more time. Yeah. And you're going to find the truth out. Definitely, you're going to find the truth. So, my gut feeling, my intuition is telling me that when it goes to court, it's not going to be in you guys' favor. For some of you guys, it will be. Okay? For some of you guys, it will be. There's two different scenarios I see. With the three of swords, some of you guys are going to be heartbroken and walk away from the situation because you're going to get truth and clarity. For some of you guys... The person you were with was in a third party situation, but they were also in a relationship. Okay, so they had a relationship themselves and they were messing around with your person and the person they were with. Someone is going to walk away emotionally and with the ace of swords, the truth is finally going to come out. So I see it in two different ways. 
okay? With the death card, you guys could have been dealing with a Scorpio. For some of you guys, they told them to get rid of the child or they didn't want the child. As a king of cups, they didn't want to deal with it. They already had a family. They were already established, already in a relationship. They didn't want more responsibility on them. Okay? The overall energy we have is the two of cups, the full card, the queen of cups. We have the tower. So, yeah, they definitely tried to end this situation with this person. For some of you. For some of you guys, they try to end the situation with that person. They thought that they were connected to this person. They realized that the connection that you guys had was much stronger. Um, and I feel like they didn't realize that until it was too late. With the Queen of Cups, you were very honest and devoted to this person. You can be a water sign, or they could be a water sign. But I feel like that person didn't realize their feelings and emotions until it was too late, until things were done, until you guys were over with. And with the full card, for some of you guys, there is going to be a new beginning. You guys are going to be able to move forward. But for some of you guys, this person, even if you guys get back with this person, after you guys find out everything, they're still not going to be ready to commit and settle down. Because it's like, they're going to go through all this and then go step out and have another third party. Because this person with the, with the devil card is stuck in their ways. They're never going to change. And if it's not their kid, they're going to be like, okay, it's not my child. Be with you, work things out, and then be back with another third party. Clarify the fool. Yeah, see? It's going to be just another love triangle for some of you guys. There's going to be another love triangle. They're going to be like, well, this burden was to release off of me. You know, yay, it's not me. I'm not the father, etc. With the lover's card, there's going to be a love triangle. And with the star card, you know, they're always going to think you're special. You're always going to be number one in their, in their life, in their heart. You know, but they're never going to give you what you want. And that's a commitment. That's something solid. You guys want a commitment. As a Queen of Pentacles, you guys want something solid. Okay? So that is your third party reading. Alright? If you guys want to book a personal reading with me, all my information is in the description box below. And again, this is for uh, signs. It is general. Only taking it if it resonates with you. And I love you guys. I'll see you guys again soon. Bye.